Now, do you believe what you see, or do you see what you believe? Well, have a look at this. What do you see there? Most people see a large nine with a small five stuck up in the corner of it. That's what most people see. But why? Let's examine that. It wasn't until a few hundred years ago that uh, artists discovered perspective, and they started to use it in their paintings and drawings. That is, they traced diagonal lines, all converging back to one point on the horizon, the so-called vanishing point, and that made things look very realistic. And then they began to realise why things look smaller when they are distant, and just how much smaller they would look if they are a certain distance from you. For hundreds of years before that, artists didn't do it that way. Their paintings look like this. Everyone seemed to be about the same distance from the viewer. They looked rather flat. And thousands of years before that, the Egyptians used pictures like this in their hieroglyphics. Their smallness meant you genuinely were small, like a baby, or you might have been very insignificant. But even so, they were able to show you which person was closer than another person. They did it like this. My hands are the same distance from you, but you can tell this one's in front of the other. Not because it's bigger, but because it blocks some of the back hand out. We say it masks it. So there are a couple of clues that the brain is working on. One is that smallness means further away. The other is that masking means closer to you. What happens if you provide the brain with both those clues together? Well, have another look at the cards. It looks like a small five stuck on a large nine. This is how the trick's done. Well, as you can see, it's cunningly arranged. This is what we've done, and you can do it at home if you have an old pack of cards. You take the front card and chop the corner out of it. Then you take the back card, position it quite a, a way away, just so that it fills in that corner like that. Now the back card, being s further away, is smaller, but it appears to be masking the front card, and the brain is left with a choice. It has to make a bet. Does the smallest mean distance, or does the masking mean closer? And for most people, the brain opts for masking. It says the five is small, but in front of the nine. Have another look. So what you see, or rather what you perceive, is not just what the eyes are looking at, it's the way the brain deals with it as well. Curiosity.